G day, people! This is your Pena here. Welcome, you guys, to episode number seven of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Shiny Lock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the button down below for us because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we met away from Sleepport up towards this route here. We did a bit of uh, Team Magma butt kicking. We went some Trick House butt kicking, and we did some May butt kicking. Today, we're going to try to kick the butt of the next gym leader of Hull, which is, of course, Watson. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and have a look at our team that we are bringing to this episode today. So, first and foremost, we got ourselves our Storm, the Shiny Electric, the latest addition to our team. Uh, Spark, Quick Attack, Thunder Fang, and Thunder Wave. Aquaman, the shiny Marsh Stomp, our starter for this Let's Play with Mud Shot, Water Gun, Mud Slap, and Tackle. Maple Story, the shiny Shroomish, Headbutt, Mega Drain, Poison Powder, and Leak Seed. You know what? Today, let's make it today's mission to get Maple Story evolved into a Breloom. Now, I do believe it evolves at level 23, and upon evolving level 23, it does actually learn Mark Punch, which would be absolutely phenomenal it coming up into our next gym battle. So I think we'll definitely go ahead and put Maple Story up here and just try to get Maple Story involved today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this episode started. We've got so much to do today. Like I said, we're going to take on a lot of trains that are all around Moorville. And um, yeah, it's going to be just a big jam-packed episode. So stay, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So today's question for today that I will throw at you guys today and I mean, this is coming uh, from speaking about the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, there was discussion about saying in the game that there's going to be some games that real or some Pokemon that hasn't been showcased yet, and there will be new. So that kind of got me thinking. Well, I mean, if they're going to introduce a new Pokemon, I mean, it would be unheard of if they introduced a new typing. I mean, that would be pretty cool if they introduced a new typing. So I'm asking you guys today, Worry Seed, the fuck? The fuck, Shroomish, the fuck? Why would you want to learn that stupid move? Anyways, uh, my question was, uh, what was I going to say? Um, if you could introduce one new typing to the game, what would your type be and why? And if you did bring it in, what would it be good against and what would it be weak against? So, having a look at a lot of ROM hacks that's been going around, you obviously see a lot of uh, creators going to be creative with inventing new types. So like Pokemon Uranium, you have nuclear type, which is weak to everything, but also strong against everything. Um, let's see here. So, I mean, as far as like, um, I'm a, a typing that I could add, um, hmm, it's, it's a good question because like, honestly, you've got Fairy, which really, I really thought they should have made that light. They should not have made it Fairy, but I understand why they did that, like, I, I don't know, it, it's just, to me it's a little bit weird, but I've got to really keep this thing on switch, uh, shift to set, I've got to do that after this battle. I've been probably saying that the entire last episode, you guys be getting pissed off saying, bro, what the absolute fuck, you've been talking about doing it all last episode, and you did absolutely jack shit about it, so, you know. Alright, so let's go ahead, go for a head burt, a head burt, razor leaf, nose leaf. I will say, Shiny Sea Doll is actually pretty nice. It goes from a nice brown to like an orange. That was a crit. God damn. Them nipples. Them dot nipples. <laughs> Alright, so first off, let's go ahead and swap the option over to um, to set. Now, as far as the typing, like, I don't know, like, um, set. Now it doesn't keep asking us to swap out every time. Um, I'm just trying to think, what's a typing that currently, I mean... In, um, you, let's see, in Snakewood you've got disease, but that really hasn't got much of an impact to it, so, other than the fact that it's just a unique typing that doesn't exist in any other game but this one. Um, then you got Shadow in, um, Bloody Platinum, which I, 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 not Shadow? No, it's, um, I, can't, I, I haven't played it, I don't know, but I've heard a lot of people talk about the certain typing that's given in that game. Hidden power. I was going to say, I freaked out. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And with the destruction of Abra, that brings our Maple Story to a nice, healthy, round level. Well, not round because it's odd, but a nice level 23. And does that mean something's going to happen right now? <gasps> yes, it is. Maple Story is evolving. Let's go. 
Our second shiny evolution for the LP. LP. It is our Vapor Story evolving from a Shroomish into a mighty red balloon. Sorry, you don't get spore in this Let's Play. Sorry. Must learn my punch. Hell to the fuck yeah! Well, we're not going to need poison powder because really. He's going to be a fighting type. He's going to be just dabbing and fighting and, you know. My punch is definitely ready to go. Now all he needs now is bullet seed. I mean, I know he doesn't get seed bomb unless we do move to up. But other than that, um, I don't think he gets that. So let's go ahead and have a look. Oh my god, look at that attack stat. That attack stat. <gasps> Bruh. Alright, so let's go ahead and put my punch up there. Make it drink. Oh. Yeah, we'll put, I usually put stab moves first and then all the other moves afterwards. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and put Storm out from. Actually, speaking of, well, I mean, all of our Pokemon are going to do really well now that, um, basically, uh, Maple Story now has a fighting type move, which is awesome. So, honestly, I don't think we should really have a problem with this next gym. I'll be very surprised if we do, but you never know. Shit happens. Shit always happens when you least expect it. So, we're going to go ahead and spark it up. Spark up the Wingo. Down she goes. Yay! Alright. I just keep getting distracted. I'm just about to discuss what I'm going to talk about. About the, um... The new typing. Um... I don't know what type... Like, okay. So you got fire, ice. You've got the elements. Flying. Electric. Hmm. Poison. Dark. The only one I could suggest is light. But then again, I don't know what light... Light almost is exactly how fairy should be. Like, you know... Uh... I don't know, it, it, it's very difficult, but I mean, if you guys have any creative ideas or creative typings and have a good explanation as to why the typings are what they are, uh, leave a comment down below and tell me, but at the moment I'm drawing an absolute complete blank as to what kind of new typing I could add to, uh, you know, this game here, because I mean, most of it's been pretty covered, the only thing I could talk about is, um, like in Alola, how you kind of take the switch. I mean, if I could think of some Alola types, I mean, I could definitely do that for you guys, if that's what you, I guess, want to talk about. Um, we're just trying to think, like, uh, I, I, I really can't think right now. I, I really can't think right now. I can't think of anything that would be classed as, well, first off, productive, and second off, that would make you guys any smarter from, you know, listening to what I'm rambling about. So, I think to save you guys the the, the, the the headache, I'll just keep my mouth shut and just continue to play this game. Because I think that's what you guys are here for. You're here just to, you know, watch me play with some shiny Pokemon, because that's what we're all about. Back-to-back -back shiny locks. Honestly, guys, I wasn't expecting to do a shiny lock back-to-back, -back, but I do believe a commenter said, you know, you should do a back-to-back -back shiny lock. And honestly, like, at this point, getting my patience up for shiny locking, I didn't think uh, for shiny locking and shiny hunting, I never really thought I would have the patience to do it, and sure enough, here I am, you know, now back to back Shiny Lock, so, you know. Well, so this is Marvel City. <laughs> you seem to be enjoying it, Wally. So what do you want to do? Do you want to go grab a bite to eat at the Bolville Food Court? Or maybe we should get a bite for your, of your own at Rhino Cycles, would you like that? I bet the exercise would be good for your health. No, thank you. I want to challenge the gym right away. What? Let me s let me see. I'm pretty sure the gym is. Yup, straight out ahead this way. Just go through the inner courtyard. Let's go. Wally, hey, wait, Wally. Clearly, Wally's flying off the handle. He needs to take a chill pill. Is that an item for us to grab? No, I didn't want to watch the map. I just saw a Pokeball there. I was just trying to get an item. Oh, it is there. It was just behind the stand. I'm just like, yeah, I want to get this Pokeball. And it's like, ah, no, sir, you have to go around it. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> well, that's a piece of shit. Um, ma, 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 ma. All right, so we're going to head over here. We're going to get ourselves a little bicycle because what I might do after this episode is actually do a little grinding montage because we're going to get a new shiny in the next episode. And much like what we did with um, the, uh, the uh, Electric and training it up, with the um, with everything else, I figured, hey, why not just do it like this? So um, yeah, I, and that's how we're going to proceed. So let's go ahead and head over her, over, over, over her, 
We're gonna go ahead and heal up and uh, let me just we'll go to the shops as well because I do believe that there is some TMs we can buy from this shop as well because Wobble City being I would say <clears throat> one of the biggest cities in Hoenn um, we can definitely kind of take advantage of the fact that there could be some good TMs that we could buy. Also, we could sell some stuff as well, which could also help us buy those said TMs. So let's have a look and see what kind of TMs this place has. What you got, boy? You got Venishock, yeah, Aerolace. Actually, that would be pretty goddamn good. Facade, yeah, Low Sweep, yeah, maybe. Charge Ring, no. Bulldogs, yeah. Dragon Tail, no. Power Punch, yeah. So there's already quite a few good things here. So let's go ahead and sell because unfortunately we are, we got no money whatsoever and we really need to actually... Uh, can I not really sell anything else really? Have I not found anything that's like really good? Potion, soda pop, lava cookie, PPRP. I got nothing. God damn it. I can't even buy one of these things. Are you serious? Ugh. Very well. Let's have a look at our stock then. Uh, let's see, Pokeballs, yeah, Great Balls. We don't really need Pokeballs really for this game here, so. Uh, potions, uh, Super Potions, Hyper Potions, we've got those. Uh, Paralyzed Heals, Awakenings, no, 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 no. Okay, so it turns out we can't even buy anything. Good God. We need to get some trainers to fight us so we can make that cheddar. Make that money. Alright, so... We'll go over here and see what little Wally here, little crazy Wally here. Where's Wally? He's right here. Uncle, I'm begging you. I want to challenge this gym to see how much strong I've become. Please, you'll let me, won't you? Now hold on, Wally. And it's certainly true that you've grown quite a strong, lot stronger alongside your Pokemon. But don't think you that. Don't you think that jumping right into a challenging gym might be pushing it? Well, I mean, look. I mean. You're gonna have to cut the apron strings at some point. Your kid's gonna have to eventually get out there and challenge Pokemon trainers. So, you may as well just let them do it, because the more you, you tell them no, the more they're gonna to wanna to do it. Friendly parenting advice, I'm Sharpie. I'm not pushing it. If it's me, my role, it's me could be anyone. Ah, Shapito! Ross and I have gotten a lot stronger since we first met, growing together. I wanna to prove that to you and my uncle both, Sharpito. Please, help me once more, and have a battle with me! Okay, sure. Thank you, Sharpino! Okay, here we go! We're going to win this, Ralt! We have to! Well, clearly someone is trying to get their, their independence by trying to beat me in a Pokemon battle, and is that a shiny Wally? I don't know why it has that glow as soon as you come. So we have a Ralt here going up against our Storm, our shiny Electrike here. Now, at this point, I think Rolch knows Growl, Confusion, and Teleport. I think those are the only three moves it knows. So we have Speed, we're going to go for a Spark, and that's just about half. Lucky Chin. Ah, oh, that's the other move it has. So now we can't crit it. Well, it don't matter, because just seeing the amount of damage that that Spark did... Actually, we'll go for Thunder Fang, actually. Why are we going for Spark for? Thunder Fang is basically a stronger Spark, so why... I don't, I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Wow, you're really strong, Sharpino. That's what you get when you're training. Uncle, I'll go back to Verdant Turf. Sharpino, thank you for being a trainer is tough, isn't it? It's not enough just to battle with your Pokemon. I can't become a true trainer like that. Not really. Wally, Wally, there's no need to get so down on yourself. Why, what's keeping you from becoming stronger? Nothing is. All you need to do is keep growing. Come on, let's go home. Everyone's waiting for you. Yes, Uncle. And Sharpino? I... I'm definitely... I'm going to get much strong... I'm going to get stronger. Much, much stronger. I feel like I've learned a lot from just one Pokemon battle with you. About my own limits. And Ralts's. So, um... That's why... Sharpino? If it's alright... Could I... Could I... Call you my... Rev... Rev... Uh, never mind, sorry! It was nothing, please forget about it, bye! G goodbye! Oh, okay. I kind of beat into it. <laughs> it just dawned on me that you must be the young man who kept an eye out for Wally when he called his Pokemon. So, it's you we have to thank for Wally becoming so positive about the future. Thank you. Ah, here, take this. 
I want you to have it as a bit of a thank you. Page number six, Rock Smash. All right, now we're getting to this stuff here. Even if there are obstacles in your path, I think you'll be able to break through them, especially if you use Rock Smash there. We should head back now, but if you ever have the time, I'd love it if you stopped by our home in Burton Turf. I'm sure Wally would enjoy it too. We look forward to seeing you. Okay, bye Wally's uncle, bye. Alright, we got a gender battle win, let's go! Now, the only thing is, Storm isn't going to do too well because Storm doesn't really have- Oh, hold the phone, hold the phone! Hey, Tim Slave, come on, you could have better items than a goddamn potion, you serious, bruh? Bruh. My lecture so that shatters your dreams whole. Oh yeah! Okay, so we have a rocker, a punker, a punk man, a guitar a guitarist that has a magnemite. Magnemite, magnemite. Let's go, Aquaman! Put the stomping on him. Ugh. Put the stomping on him. Mud shot this bitch! Quick call takes effect! The only thing that's going to screw it over if they have Sturdy, which I do know the Magneton and the Magnemite, I do believe, have Sturdy in the gym battle. And we have the Electro. You know what? You know what? Let us have a Storm v Storm battle. Uh, Electro versus Electro battle, I should say, because I mean, I'm sure he doesn't call his Electro Storm. Gotta love having that comparison there. Here we go. So we have Green Electro versus Blue Electro. Let's go ahead and go for a quick attack because. I don't know if this, I mean, I'm pretty sure this electric doesn't have, uh, da ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Look at that, blue to green, look at that, I love when they do that, I love when they do a comparison like that. So we're gonna do a little bit of damage, we're gonna go for a thunder fake, oh, he's got lightning rod too! Okay, these guys got hidden abilities as well. I seriously did not know that, I thought it was just like, they would have the, the normal abilities, but apparently, they've got freaking a hidden ability as well, so I'm like, oh, fuck me. Alright, so we are definitely beating down these punk asses over her. So we're gonna go for some quick attacks. Yeah! And Blue Electric wins! And Aquaman's level 22. What's like, Mud Bomb? Oh, hell yeah! Oh. Uh, Okay, um, special, special. We're gonna mud slap, we'll keep tackle just in case we can't get something that really is not affected by water or grass, uh, or ground. Which I mean, at this point is grass, but if we have a grass type, we are swapping the fuck out, because we ain't stay, sticking around for that shit. Alright, so that is level one. Now we're here at level two. This gym's got puzzles, isn't it fun? Well, it wouldn't be a challenge if there was no puzzles, so. Uh, Youngster Ben has an Electrike. Oh man, I wish I'd keep having Electrike out so I could get Electrike to get a little bit more experience so we can actually keep progressing here. So, um, oh well, it looks like we're just gonna go for a Mud Bomb in this bitch. Boom! Electrike does go down. Sorry, buddy, but eh, it happens. It's no fun to lose. Well, there has to be a winner, there has to be a loser. Everywhere you go, Someone wins and someone loses. It is called life. Everywhere you go, someone's going to lose and win. It's a fighter. Oh crap, I should okay. With my charm okay here, yeah, whatever. So you got a fine type Pokemon, you got a Meditite, because <laughs> that's what you're all about. That's what I'm all about. Boo! Aquaman is a here! Looking shiny and purpley as ever. Let's go for a Mud Bomb once again on this Meditite. The Quick Claw Pops, I think that actually matters in this case because I do believe Meditite would be faster than a Meditite. That was a crit, good god. A Meditite would be faster than Meditite. Yes, Chris, you are so good. No, a Meditite would be faster than a Marsh Stomp. So we've seen that over there for a Water Gun. Hopefully it's enough to get the kill. It is not. Wow. Just by a smidge. Just by a smidge. Another Water Gun. And Bob's your uncle, down goes the Meditite, another unnecessary crit. I mean, the first one was necessary, this one was not. And Vivian has been defeated, so yeah. Go figure. Okay then, so we're going to now hit the switch. Get the stage set. 
You know, screw it. I'm gonna let Storm lead on this one because, for all I know, this guy could have a uh, another electric out. I've trained under Watson. There ain't no way to lose easily. Get down. All right, now it's just a guitar sound. <laughs> if you guys wonder what the fuck was that, Voltorb. Actually, perfect. You know what? I can handle Voltorb. I can handle Voltorb. Let's go, Storm. All right, level 15. All right, let's go for a Thunder Fang. Let's see what damage Thunder Fang does to a Voltor. It does it does this damage. We are gonna get screeched, but I'm okay. I'm okay. Sparks and come through. We get that boost because we are Lightning Rod, baby. So it looks like two more Thunder Fangs will in fact get the job done. Roll out. Oh snap! Three hundred thirty-three. Okay. As long as we don't miss these Thunder Fangs, we should be just fine. I forgot that uh, Voltorb does get access to this here, but that's going to be enough to take out Voltorb. Fantastic job, Storm. You're doing a fantastic job. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Another Voltorb. Okay. So if I was to, if I was a Bay Man, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I am. Let's see how much damage a quick attack does to Voltorb. It does less than a Thunder Fang. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to sit around and let this bullshit happen. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in Maple Story here. Because rollouts are just going to piss me off to all heaven and hell. So in comes our red Maple Story. Look at that. Bob and dab in his hands. Freaking let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Okay. Let's go for a Mark Punch, which should definitely get the kill on the Voltorb. Woo! Boy! That it does. That it does. Maple Story! Here's my story. I'm killing you. The end. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead now, get into our bag. We'll go ahead and heal up everyone just to get ready. To get ready. Ready to battle. Now, I do believe his first Pokemon is a Magnemite, so Aquaman's going to be our best candidate to get the job started. So let's go ahead and head up here, and there's a big old Watson just staring at his giant electronic uh, machine, which, you know, is pretty cool. I I'll give him that. Heart of the cards, guide me. I only say that because he's the same Seth Green as Seth Green? What the fuck? Dan Green. Dan Green. Dan Green, who does voice Watson in this, is also the voice of Yugi from Yu Gi Oh! Now you know. Heart of the cards, guide me. Oh now, what are you doing here? What? You say you got impossible rigged doors? <laughs> now that is the music. The plans to reform Marvel are done for now. Making traps for my gym and battling with young trans like you are the things I live for now. Then I, Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. <laughs> I remember he does laugh pretty, pretty loud and pretty goddamn forced in the fucking series. But anyways, guys, third gym battle right here. We are going up against Watson here. And things tick off with... Oh, look at that. It's a Magnemite. Who could have predicted that? Oh, wait, he did. Ah. Alright, so, Grandpa gets his Magnemite, like I said, more than likely he does have Sturdy, but we're still going to go for the Mud Bombs anyways. There's Sturdy, I should have, I should have stuck with my gut, I should have stuck with my gut. Fucking hell, now he's going to go to a heal, we're going to use a Water Gun to break the Sturdy and then go for the Mud Bomb. <sighs> should have done this one first, I don't understand why I doubt myself sometimes, it's like, Chris, if you know something, run with it, don't just steamroll over yourself, like... Like, why do you do that? I, I don't know, guys. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes you just, you think you know it all, but then you don't. And then when you think you know it, and then you fuck up, it just looks worse than if you said you didn't know. So, you know. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for a Water Gun Magna Bomb. That is resistant, because I'm a goddamn Water Type. So I don't even know, Magna Mike, what your, uh, Magna Ton, sorry. What your deal is, but I'm here to kick ass. And I've got plenty of Mud Bombs for y'all. And we just got Supersonic. Oh boy. We're playing with RNG now. Oh boy. Oh boy. RN fucking G, people. RN fucking G. So that does 8 damage. So even a crit would do maybe 12, 13 at most. Mother's gonna come through though. And that's gonna kill the Magneton. There we fucking go. Woo! Alright. In 
Aquaman is now level 23. That is awesome. Voltorb is next. You know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and let Storm take it from here. Electric type v Electric type. The battle of Monster Battles. The final battle to determine who gets the gym badge. Well, I mean, if we get gym badge, at least. Because, I mean, I mean, it's not like he gets to keep it. And now your next attack is charged up. Too bad. I'm white and rod, bitch. So let's go for a, a quick attack. Does a little bit of damage. We're going to see charge keep coming through. So does he really have no other moves uh, other than charge and electric type? Let's go for a Thunder Fang. Let's see how much damage Thunder Fang does. All right. So he's just, he's just going to keep on charging up, you know, and I'm just going to go for a Thunder Fang. So Thunder Fang actually does more damage than the quick attack, which makes sense. You know, you got Thunder Fang, you get stab and everything else. I would have thought at this point Voltorb would have Sonic Boom or something. Like I'm just confused as to why this Voltorb is just sitting here and charging. It really must have no moves that can touch me. Unless it's just assuming that I'm uh, Lightning Rod, in which case they are making the right assumption. Just keep the Vol Switch. There we go. So we've seen Charge and Vol Switch. Alright, one more attack. And that will be the done diddly deal. Boom! There we go. Electric for the win, people! A storm is coming, and he's just wrecked your vault all. Ha 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 ha! Fine, I lost. All that money! We can now buy a TM. Yay! <laughs> I was electrified by you. Now take this back! We got the Dynamo Badge from Watson. How dynamic. Ha ha ha. Chris Lane Pun? I don't know. With the Dynamo Badge, Pokemon can use the HM Rock Smash outside of battle. One other thing. Pokemon to level 40 will obey you now, even if you got them from someone else. Alrighty then. Then this here is for you too. Go on, take it with you. Boss Switch. Thank you. Now Storm has a good special attacking electric type move. Finally. Ball Switch is a move where your Pokemon attacks the opponent and then rushes back to switch places with the party Pokemon in waiting. I swell with optimism seeing a promising young trainer like you. Well, thanks, Watson. Uh, Watson, I'm very flattered that you, you think of that of me. I do, I do appreciate the candor. I do appreciate the kind words. But, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up today and... Over this next episode, or between now and the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and shiny hunt for the next shiny that we're going to add to our squad, and actually um, take on all the trainers that are all around Morville. So I'll go back to the bicycle circuit, beat all the trainers there, then I'll versus the trainers on the right side towards Route 18, and then on the left side heading towards Burnton Town. That way, next episode we can get things kicking off by going north, which is where we actually need to go, and um, yeah story progression so i will say thank you very much for enjoying today's episode if you guys did enjoy today's episode make sure you hit a like on the video because as always just supposed to be appreciated and if you're enjoying the content and you're brand new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification if you want to get a notification alert every time i upload a video then you can be part of the notification squad as well as the sharp squad we're just in a bunch of squads if you will i know why it's just kind of funny when i say like that but anyway guys until the next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I will catch you guys all next time. Later!